तैयारी भारत के नव निर्माण की एक इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी शिक्षा का केंद्र तीर्थंकर महावीर यूनिवर्सिटी मुरादाबाद आज तीर्थंकर महावीर यूनिवर्सिटी में हायर एजुकेशन लीडरशिप डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम का आयोजन किया गया
the maximum load which we can give them. So in such situations, it becomes very difficult to uh, do a workload balance. A practical uh, issue comes up, <coughs> if you talk about in any of the universities, you come across uh, while UGC, we are in UGC, has to find the norms that are an assistant professor should not be given uh, more than an 80 hours of teaching uh, load. Uh, for an associate professor, it should be. It is a business. If you don't run like this, uh, like a business, it will fail, right? But the business has slightly different objectives. That is the difference between a university business and a retail business or a transactional business, right? So, if I'm a great strategic leader of, say, for example, hero motorcycles or whatever, hero motors. I would have figured out if I want if, if I'm successful. Not equal distribution of workload. You prioritize. You you take risk and invest. People's time in some areas. Some of it will be wasted. You know that already. But you do because there is a risk alongside a reward. So I take that risk. Right? Same things should also happen here. Customized to education business. Right? So, my name is Rao Bamadimari. Uh, I, I am a, a essentially a retired academic leader with experience in a number of countries, mostly in the West. Uh, currently, I'm in India doing some uh, charitable project in Gandhinagar, developing a university. So it's not unlinked to our visit today uh, to TMU. Our first impressions have been very positive. Um, the faculty we interacted with have been very enthusiastic, eager to learn, and eager to develop both themselves and uh, the university. Um, it's relatively a young university, uh, but I think it has already established itself firmly with a clear vision uh, and with the commitment that the vice chancellor and the faculty have demonstrated, uh, I have no doubt within the next decade, it will start to emerge as one of the leading private universities, not just in this region, but I would like to think across the country. We benefited from this visit. My colleague Ben, who is sitting next to me, um, by learning a lot. This is about mutual learning. It is not about just talking to people about what we have done in our lives, but it is about learning from them so we can then moderate our knowledge as well. So I would hope this is a, we call it a taster session, and the session certainly has, from our viewpoint, achieved its objective, and I would like to think that we'll have many more opportunities to interact. As for the university, um, the purpose why this was set up is uh, very clear, and um, unlike majority of the sector, this university to me stands out in that it is a community commitment. That is the distinction. Uh, it is comprehensive university with uh, uh, a range of faculties uh, covering diversity of disciplines, a fantastic location, um, young, vibrant environment I feel when I walked into the university this morning. Vice Chancellor is a very young man, um, determined man it, it would appear, assisted very ably by Dr. Pandey, uh, bringing his wisdom and experience, and of course, uh, the Pro Vice Chancellor and the Registrar also, I think, have been adding fantastic value in expediting the growth of this university. So, uh, I very much enjoyed my visit to this place. I would like to thank my colleague Ben equally, and uh, I have no doubt I'll be back. So my name is Ben Tucker. I am founding partner at a company called Minerva, which is based in London, in England. Uh, and we focus on uh, recruitment services and leadership development for universities all around the world. Um, so we work in, in the UK, but also Europe, uh, Australasia, um, and uh, now spending an increasing amount of time in India. Um, hugely grateful to colleagues for giving us their time today uh, at TMU. 
Um, it's been an extremely interesting day and uh, we've been struck by the energy in the institution uh, and by the uh, reflective nature of the senior team uh, in, in the way that they're attempting to take forward and, and, and grow the activities of the university. Um, there are a number of things that come across as being very impressive. Um, the, as, as we arrived, uh, the quality of the campus and the infrastructure stood out, the scale of the university and the sense, and the sense of buzz about the place and the life of the students. Um, but also one of the things that's very, very interesting uh, in coming here is how similar the, uh, the challenges that you face as a university as you're growing fast are to those which I see in other universities all around the world. Um, and it's exciting to be here and, and, and learn about the ways that, that you're taking things forward. See, as far as the university is concerned, this is a, an essential requirement to create proper leadership for, for every unit we function through with because of the very fact the university has gone so fast in creating its infrastructure, the programs and delivery and expanding into the scope as well as scale of the university. Keeping a balance between the scope and scale has been a challenge and to me the leadership training or preparing leadership on academic capabilities and capacity could be one of the great instrument and philosophy or mechanism through which we can bridge this particular gap and come as a winner. As far as the relevance and acceptance of the university programs, policies and what you call uh, preferences and practices are concerned, the society has posed a great responsibility as well as given a great uh, thrust to our trust into our activities and that is how we have grown to this particular size. Now the time has come that every department has got a leader who is able to influence his team members to contribute in much more significant and relevant manner than what it used to be in past and that's the challenge we need to really surmount with the all our capabilities at our disposal so that we are able to create a niche for our own self. As far as our position in the region is concerned, we are being treated and conceived and projected and felt and recognized as well as one of the most trusted name in higher education space. But that is not the end because universities are universal in nature and that particular place we have to create ourselves by committing to all traits a leader is supposed to uh, what to call possess in every sphere of its functioning. That is what the aim is and I think this particular activity which was carried out throughout the day is going to be in that particular direction to strengthen our belief and bridge those gaps wherever they were so that we can lead from front and create better conditions for our operation preparing our students today for facing the challenges of tomorrow that's the basic endeavor in all activity we carry out because creating citizens for tomorrow who can think because thinking and teaching of thinking is an empowering process so that we can prepare our students we are creative caring and competent enough to face the challenge of tomorrow. And these all activities of this nature are basically aiming in that direction. Thank you so much.